This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to this week's Magic World Reviews Live, kind of. This was just a few moments before, um, but check this out. Okay, this week's review is of Stab. So, let's buy Stab by Peter Egink. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. We all agree that magic with borrowed, ordinary items is the strongest magic. Peter Egging reinvented the bill penetration. And this looks so amazing and visual, you will fool yourself. My name is Ron from Magic from Holland and I'm very proud to present Peter Eggings Stab. Okay, we're back. Now, Stab is a product that only costs £17.99. So there we go. One very quick, uh, very quick winner all the way with the price point. I think it's, it's an all-rounder. It's a great little product. Now, <clears throat> first of all, the packaging is very smooth as well. Ooh, something fell out. All I would say with this is, um, is the making. You're going to have to go through quite a lot of making for this product. So... In my opinion, the making is going to take you at least, for the first time you make it, at least half an hour. But then after that, you probably get it down to 15 minutes. It's pretty quick when you, when you know how. Um, it's quite ingenious as well. There's a lot of work that goes into it. Um, you need your cutting mat, but you get everything you need inside the package, bar your scissors and your glue and all the usual things. And when you actually see it, it is quite ingenious because when the uh, note is inserted in between the card, you can actually move the note around and you're seeing it moving on the inside and the out, so it looks so real. Um, I'm yet to make one of these up again because uh, a friend of mine stole the gimmick that I made up last week. I'll be making one for my corporate gig next week and giving it a try. So would I want to carry this around and do it at every single gig? Um, I'll be honest with you, I, my pockets are already full. I know what I've got in each pocket, so I wouldn't have it as my A set because I've already... I'm, my pockets are stuffed. You will need to add one card to the deck of cards to perform this trick. So it's relatively easy to do that. You can handle the cards with that one card added on and it's very easy to display the cards and go into the effect from there. So in my opinion, it, it, it works well. It resets not too bad. I wouldn't necessarily go out and perform it at my next wedding. Uh, however, it's a great little piece for, if you've got a few people around for Instagram, for Twitter and all these kind of crazy cool things, Snapchat. Uh, which I need to get working on. So yeah, all these cool things, and it does work. I wouldn't say surrounded, but I'd say you've got to be you've got to be careful of your angles, hold it against your body. But you could do it with a lot of people around you, and you do actually see. Here's a beautiful part. You see the pen go through the note, so you're seeing it actually penetrate the note, pull it back out, and then the note can be examined. And in that option, and of course something, a bit of stealing, a bit of ditching, boom, and you're clean. So for me, I quite like this. I think it's a, the video went on forever and I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot of making. So that was a downside, a lot of making at, at first. I think it lasted 40 minutes of making uh, instructional video. I was like, come on. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm not a patient person. But some people love the making side. 
And for the price of 17.49 then or 17.99, it just you know, you could have paid 30 pounds and had it made up for you. You haven't. It's 17.99. You got to do some making. Get over it. It's the way it is. So for me, Stab is a nice little product. I think it's a nice little gimmick to carry around with you and it adds to your deck of cards and you're ready to go. Uh, of course, you can do this with different cards. It doesn't have to be uh, bicycle playing cards, of course, and that's the beautiful thing about it. You can do it with business cards. You can do it with all sorts. So there we go. I think I'm going to give it a rating out of 10. Uh, I'll give it... I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So clear 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a nice product. Uh, get yourself Stab. Uh, I think we do have this... Okay, the special offer for Stab is you buy this and you get another product for free. Um, that offer has ended, but what I'm going to do just for the guys who are watching this now, I will let you know that we will we'll extend the offer and I'll put the link on the website uh, or in the show more section or whatever so that you can buy this and get, I can't remember which product you get for free, but you get another really good product for free. Uh, oh yeah, that was it. It's Card Stab World... Um, I'll show you, I'll show you. You get this one for free right here. So you get the Card Stab, Secrets of the Card Stab by the world's greatest magic uh, for completely free and it's worth 20, I think it's 22 pounds or something again. So you're getting a lot of value getting that for free when you buy Stab, which is kind of a bit of a crazy offer. So uh, yeah, buy that, get that free. You buy that, you get that free madness. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That is the special offers. And uh, I hope you like it. Let us know what you think of this product. That's the most important thing. So, thank you for watching this review. Maybe we go on to another review right now, or maybe I just disappear. Okay, for the interval for this week's review show, we have a brand new product coming out. It's on pre-sale, and we're super excited about this product. It's called Conscious Magic Trilogy. It's the Conscious Magic by Ran Pink and Andrew Gerard, Volume 1, 2, and 3 in a limited edition box set. We have a very special offer where you buy this product and you get another one for free. A £26 DVD for free, but just check out the trailer. It's well worth it. You're going to learn a lot from this. So here we go. The best magic is performed with everyday objects. With Andrew Gerard's accuracy, you'll have your back turned, a spectator will spin a coin, they'll take two bills, hide one in their hand and sit on the other. When you turn around, you'll know everything. You're sitting on the one, the 20's in your hand, and the coin is heads. Yes. Is that right? Let's see. Yeah. So the camera can see two. Open it up. Is that right? Yes. There's a 20, you're sitting on a one. And I don't want to touch the coaster, it's a heads, right? It's awesome. I'll take my money and you have to do a shot. <laughs> okay, this is a long trailer, so I'm cutting it in half. You can watch the full trailer, of course, in the link in the show more. You see it? No. You don't see it? No, I don't see it. Go right to the end, maybe it's at the end. Ava's trying to help. <laughs> Ava. Is it not there? Dude, what was the card that you thought of? That I thought yeah, of. that you thought you saw. Eight of hearts. What was the card that you saw? Eight of diamonds. Or eight of hearts. See, he's not even no, sure of the suit. Well, the what? In the right. Eight. What do you think it was? You thought it? I saw it. That was a pick, bro. What was it? Look. God damn. Yeah, right? <laughs> what card? Simon. I thought you had a good memory. I thought I did too. You know what's really weird though is. You actually were thinking of the eight and you couldn't have seen the eight in the deck. Do you know why? Why? Look, in my back pocket before I came out down here, I put a card and it was the card that you were going to think of before you even thought of it. What the f***? Oh my god! What? I saw the card in the deck. So you literally transferred it. I don't know what happened. He somehow like teleported it into my shirt. There's no way I, I would have known if his hand was down my shirt. I mean, there's no way. Andrew Gerard's formula. This is a very special effect where the spectator generates a card and a number. That number is dealt to in a pack of cards to reveal that their card is at that number. But then Andrew reveals that the rest of the deck was actually blank. On top of that, the card that they were thinking of was actually blank too which means the whole experience just happened in their mind. This is the formula. 
Yeah. That, that was a free choice. Yeah. Right? But it wasn't. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? Because these cards don't exist. <laughs> what? what the f these cards don't exist. These are what? all blank. But here's the really weird thing. Look at the four diamonds isn't even here. It just oh. all happened in your mind. Watching for the ultimate think of a card routine, right? Where somebody just thinks of a card and you somehow know what it is. Uh, I love this effect. Rand showed me White Room years ago before he released it. And initially, I gotta admit, I was really attracted by the method because it is a kind of a, a really interesting kind of process of how they think of the card and how you reveal it. But at the end of the day, I've really fell in love with the premise and presentation over the years uh, so much. I mean, the people have their eyes closed for more than half of the trick. And everyone watching knows that they're experiencing something special. And that's what I love about this trick. It creates an interesting spectacle. And uh, people go inside their head and they use their imagination to make some creative decisions. And we just don't get to do that every day. So this is more than just a think a card uh, trick for me now. Uh, it's about giving something really special to the spectator, a great experience. And uh, without further ado, let's go check out the white room. I don't know why I'm getting a heart, three of hearts. Is that, oh, oh my god. That was easy. Bro. I'm seeing a red wall with a heart and a five. Five of hearts. Is that the card you're thinking of? Pretty good. He's good? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Good day, guys. Yeah, you too. Have a good day. Three of diamonds. Yeah. Three of diamonds. <laughs> three of diamonds. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Three of diamonds. Mind saying. reader, the real deal. Mind reader, who would have it on Hollywood Boulevard? Only in Hollywood. Only in Hollywood. Yeah. To be in with this uh, special offer for the trilogy set, all you gotta do is click the banner for the CM Trilogy on our website. It will take you straight to the product, you add it to your cart, and you'll automatically get Invasion of the Body Snatcher for free, worth £26.49. It's a great magic trick, so simply add it to your cart, you'll get that for free. You buy one, you get one free. No, let's, uh, let's go on to another product review right now. So, what I'd like to review now, very briefly, is the Murray Mint one pound version. So the Murray Mint one pound version, let's cut to a trailer, if there is one now. But of course, this is, this was one of our best sellers in our shop. I'm not going to show you the gimmick, but uh, it comes inside this little package here. And uh, is one of our best sellers last, well, no, early this year and late last year. And that was in a £2 version. But of course, a new pound coin has come out. And this one now works like a dream with a, a pound coin, the new one, and a 20 pence piece. And of course the shapes of the two, with the 20 pence piece being uh, uh, many different edges compared to the uh, pound coin, really does add another dimension to the effect. It's still 30 pounds, and I'm going to give this a rating out of 10 straight away because if you've seen my past review, go and watch it on the two pound version. It's a phenomenal piece, it's great for walk around, it's really, really, really strong. So. It's one of these, that, and it's different to cards as well. And it's one that spectators have literally gone crazy over. So I would say, get yourself one of these if you've not got one already, 30 pounds on the website. Simply go for the Murray Mint, search for it, and you'll see a little option drop down list on the product page, and you can choose one or the other. So there we go, Murray Mint, uh, the ultimate ink transposition effect, uh, not to be mixed up by with, is it Egyptian ink by Sans Mines? Definitely not to be mixed with that one. This is in a class of its own, literally. And uh, lots of people, if you look at reviews over the internet, you'll just see everything about it. So there we go, Murray Mint. Boom. I'm going to give it a rating out of 10. And I am actually going to give this... Okay, I get told that I never, ever give a 10. I never give a 10 for a product. And guess what? I'm giving it a 10. Boom! It's a 10 out of 10. Uh, why? Because you get some great routines on it, get good DVD, Michael Murray teaches some awesome things, and the product itself has been machined, engineered, 
beautifully. Uh, so, and the routine knocks people out. So, uh, for me, it's one of the best inventions of the last, uh, late last year to this year um, in the Magic uh, fraternity. And boom, there we go, 10 out of 10. Woo! I knew you, that guy who said I will never give a 10 out of 10 on YouTube. I knew that I would at some point. So there we go. Murray Mint, get yourself one from magicworld.co.uk. Okay, the, the cheesy voice has had to come with that. Thanks for watching this week's live, live Magic World Review Show. We'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Oh, and don't forget to click subscribe. Subscribe. Bye-bye. Ian's coming up the stairs very, very slowly. He does not want to be on camera. Do you? Okay. Bye.